Hey food tubers, I'm Gizzy and welcome to my test kitchen. This is where the magic happens. Today I'm going to be cooking some classically Italian American style meatballs. Now we're going to crack on and make our meatballs first of all. Um, to do that I just need to chop up an onion really really fine. The finer the better because it sort of gets really immersed in with all of that meat. Just some olive oil into the pan and then bung these onions in. Then we all know that kind of Italian food wouldn't be what it is without a ton of garlic. I'm going to put three cloves into this part of the dish. What also goes in there is some rosemary and um, some fresh thyme. I'm going to chop these up really, really fine. Get your onions to tinge a little bit of golden and it's just starting to do that now. All right, we have some minced beef and some minced pork. You want to do a mix. This is what's classically Italian-American and it's just far more interesting. And I'm actually going to really heavily season this with salt then pepper as well. We're going to go in and we're going to give this a good squidge up. Just shape them into meatballs. So I'm going to go for golf ball size and then we just repeat. I want them just to chill for a second because if I start cooking them now they might start breaking up. There we go. Nice. All right, I'm going to get on with the sauce. So, three onions. I'm going to kind of roughly chop them. Olive oil, hot pan. Bunging all of these onions in there. And we're going to cook those down slowly again. I'm going to take the heat down on that now. Put the lid on as well. Because what's going to happen is that they'll sweat inside there. So next, honestly, it's a whole bulb of garlic, but don't worry about it because it's going to be fine. Italian food needs garlic. Trust me, it, it really does add to it. And the great thing is they're all going to cook down at about the same time. I'm going to cook this for about 10, 15 minutes, just really slowly, make it add 10 times more flavour. What makes these really special is that I'm going to do a mixture of fresh tomatoes and tinned ones. And within that, I've got a mixture of plum tomatoes and some cherries. I'm just going to chop these into quarters. So this has been going for about 15 minutes. It's totally soft now, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to put in these tomatoes. Like most normal people might have put this in a bowl, but this looks more, like, more fun, especially with these cherry ones going everywhere. So we've got a tin going in there as well. And then a good big tablespoon of tomato puree. And then some sherry vinegar. I'm going to say a good tablespoon to two tablespoons worth. About a teaspoon of sugar and then let that cook away for about 40 minutes until it's reduced and it becomes really rich looking. So these have been resting in the fridge for about an hour while the sauce has been cooking. I have had my sauce cooking down for about 40 minutes and it's looking absolutely spot on. I'm gonna pour our sauce into here and then let that whiz up and get smooth. Now finally, we're just gonna pop in a whole load of basil into that. Get that back on the heat. Basil, if you cook it out for like one or two minutes at the end of cooking, it really makes a difference. So, meatballs, hot pan, ready to go. This is the sound that you want. You want them to sizzle. All right, so we're just gonna layer these up. A really good tip is to do them clockwise, so you know which ones you put in first, so you can kind of turn them around in that order. It's really important that you get some really good colour on these, so I'll show you what it should look like. I mean, that's, that's looking pretty good. Because it's a ball and you want to keep it ball shape, you might have to sort of turn them around two or three times to keep the shape of them. I'm going to give these a bit of a stir. They're all holding their shape now. And they can go into our gravy. And then the sounds. Even sounds like green. Right, and this is going to go berserk, so we'll give that a stir. And I'm going to cook them for another 10 minutes. Water, very well seasoned with salt. If you're going to make this effort to make meatballs, I personally would go out and get some really delicious fresh tagliatelle. This stuff cooks in a matter of minutes, so I'm just going to put this in. What you're looking for with your pasta is the it has some bite, al dente, means sort of to the tooth. You don't want your pasta to be overcooked. Just draining out all that liquid. Give it a flip. I'm going to pour it back into here for now. 
tiny bit of olive oil, actually, and a tiny bit more seasoning into the pasta and treat them like they call them noodles in the Italian restaurants in America. This is just going to stop them sticking a little bit. Tongs are a brilliant thing for when you do pasta. They just make everything easier. So I'm going to scoop out some meatballs, pop them on the top. I'm going to probably serve about four to six meatballs per person. And then no meatball dish would be finished without Parmesan cheese. A bit more pepper. And there we are. So this is my meatballs with gravy, proper mafioso style. So. Mm. That sauce is unbelievable. That's a taste of New York right there. So if you like my recipes, don't forget to like them. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe. So um, I will see you again. Thank you very, very much. And I hope you enjoy the recipe.